Hello, 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 and happy Saturday to all of my amazing gods and goddesses, Aquarius. We are in the age of Aquarius, plus both of your ruling planets are retrograde right now. What a time to be an Aquarius. I tell you, y'all really should just be out here just winning, because you're winning by default. Some of you all just don't know it. Plus, we're in a, wet, in a waning gibbous moon, right? So what does a waning gibbous moon mean? We got five planets that are retrograde. Both of your ruling planets are retrograde. Uh, plus, we're in the age of Aquarius. So a waning gibbous moon, and this is for everybody because it affects everybody. We know the moon affects our mood, feelings, subconscious habits, and emotions, right? But a waning gibbous moon means that it's time to get rid of some of those bad habits, time to get rid of some stresses, and any negative thinking that you may have been experiencing, right? So a waning gibbous moon, you know what waning means. It should be going away, right? Right? So a waning gibbous moon means that the moon is slowly but surely appearing smaller and smaller and smaller, right? We're headed towards a new moon. So yes, okay, it is a waning gibbous moon, right? So get rid of any negative thinking, any any bad habits, any unnecessary stressors, because again, we're in the age of Aquarius. I'm telling you, Aquarius, winning <laughs> should be your life hashtag, okay? Winning. All right, let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for amazing Aquarius as it relates to every ooh, area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. I am talking to my open-minded humanitarians which who are also creative, free-spirited, intellectual, very powerful friendly, unique, independent, original, progressive water bearers. Yes, you're the bearers of truth, right? Yes, the I be knowing everything sign. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Yes, I love all signs and I try to bring out the best in every single sign by reminding you of who you are before you were conditioned to believe otherwise. Let's get into it. These cards fell out the deck and we're gonna be using these cards that fell out of the deck, Aquarius, boom. Here we have the Temperance card, which is attached to Sagittarius. Somebody is really, really encouraging you, Aquarius. Somebody who may have transitioned, somebody who may have passed on, is really, really encouraging you, Aquarius, to, um, to tap back into your great sense of humor, right? Laugh a little bit, relax. You're a very generous person. This could be, this is this person, they're encouraging you to, um, and you could have Sagittarius in your chart, but if you do, tap into your Sagittarius in you, that fire in you. This is the I see sign, like the um, they, they are archers, right? And so remember, Aquarius is the I know sign, right? Because of your, your wealth of knowledge, being the smartest sign in the zodiac. Sagittarius is the I see, they are archers. They see what they want, they go after it. Laser focus, right? We have the tower card, right? So a lot of things are going to happen for you all suddenly, like suddenly that fire in you, you're going to have this feeling of like, I desire something. I want it. I'm going for it. I'm going to go get it. By the way, we're going to be talking about the number eight, which is a money exchange number. We also have the page of swords. Yes. We also have the justice card, right? Uh-huh. We also have with the justice card is attached to one of your sister signs, which is Libra, by the way. We also have the fool card, which is attached to Uranus or Uranus, which is one of your ruling planets, right? So some sudden changes are happening. It's retrograde right now. We have the, the sun sign, which is attached to Leo, right? So you have a lot of major changes happening in your lives right now, which is a great thing. This is why I need you all to really, really stay focused. We also have the nine of pentacles, right? Financial independence. We also have the two of wands, right? Tons of prospects coming in your way in every area of your lives. If you're thinking about starting a business, boom, now is the time to do it, Aquarius, because tell your prospects are going to blow your mind. Just be consistent with what you're doing. Let's say, for instance, you have a YouTube channel. Don't post every three months or don't post like um, on this day and then tell people you're going to post on that day and just don't do it. At least give people a, like connect with your audience. If people are liking your post, comment, say something, like it, whatever, you know, um, YouTube does a great job at filtering out, you know, um, 
certain comments. There's some certain comments I probably will never see because they've already been filtered out. Like if you're using a lot of profanity, if you're doing certain things, I may not ever see the comment, right? So I try to comment on everybody's post in some way, shape, form, or fact, whether I'm commenting, whether I'm liking or whatever. You want to continue engaging your audience. If people are on Instagram, if you have a platform on Instagram, again, engage people, right? This is, listen, it's already laid out for you, Aquarius. It's already laid out for you. If you're interested in being in a romantic relationship with somebody, boom, new prospects coming across your path. Again, you're not going to be focusing on anything that's low vibrating and negative. That should be waning away. Remember, waning gibbous moon. We're moving towards a new moon, I think in about 10 days. But again, you could be thinking about your past and how things were in the past. I do not want you to get fixated on Aquarius because you becoming fixated on something is only going to harm you, especially if it's low vibrational. Don't get fixated on it. Well, it didn't work for me before, so it probably won't work for me again this time. Yes, it will. Speak it into existence, right? I also see a lot of you all traveling, right? Whether you're traveling um, internationally or domestically, wherever you are, because I have subscribers from all over the world, but I see you traveling. I see your windows of opportunity being so great, Aquarius, that I need you all to really, really get into um, the vision that you have. And I'll talk about that when we talk about the number eight in just a second. But you got a lot of major things that's happening right now. And you have a guardian angel watching over you, just watching over you, protecting you. Somebody may have lost a parent. Somebody may have lost a child. Somebody may have lost some loved one, a friend, an aunt, uncle, or whatever. But they are really watching over you, protecting you. And so they're saying, encouraging you, take this sword and cut out any negative thoughts you may have had about yourself, any ne any confusion, any confusion whatsoever. Let me let me share this about with you, Aquarius. Let's say, for instance, you're in a relationship with somebody right now, a romantic relationship with somebody right now, right? And prospects are coming across your path because, again, balanced energy, this is about somebody whose energy is completely balanced out. Balanced out energy attracts everything and everybody. Don't you mess up your current relationship that's going well for you because all these prospects are coming across your path, right? Just cut that out. That's confusion. Let's say, for instance, you have a lot of job offers on the table, right? And the universe has been um, creating situations in your life that are trying to edge you out of a certain job. For instance, let's say it's just a lot of negative, low vibrating energy on your job and, and the universe, God is trying to edge you out. Listen, you're protected. You're, that's not rejection. It may feel like rejection, but it's actually protection for you. Those people are going to fall. You don't have to worry about that. You don't even have to look back. All you have to do is cut out those emotions about, gosh, how come they don't want me there? What's wrong with me? The whole nine yards. You just take that sword right there and cut it out and move forward because it's pushing you towards greater, right? New prospects. So a lot of people will have job offers come across your path. A lot of new interest in people. You'll start looking a lot better to a lot of people, but trust it's because of your healing energy, Aquarius. That's the thing that sometimes confuses Aquarius when people start being really, really attracted to you. Is like, why are so many people attracted to me? It can almost make you feel superficial in a sense. But but it's really because of your healing energy. I'm sure every Aquarius watching this channel is very, very attractive. But again, it's your healing energy that attracts people. And the fact that you're a humanitarian, you're not a hater, you're a giver, you love humanity, right? So here we have the Six of Swords. I see you all sailing away from drama, like unnecessary drama. I mean, unless you all getting paid for it, you know, and some of that you all may say, mm, I'm not interested in that either because I just like my peace. So I see you sailing away from um, unnecessary, harmful drama, right? But I see you uh, moving more towards peaceful, calmer waters, right? Because as a healer, you don't need anything that's going to block it. You don't need any tricky relationships that are going to block your spiritual gifts that are coming through. Remember, you're, um, you are fully illuminated from the inside, and I'm talking about your spiritual gifts. This moon card is attached to Pisces, right? So if Pisces being the last sign in the zodiac, you're collecting energies from everywhere, and that's why people are so 
so attracted to your healing energy. A lot of you all have come through a lot of challenging relationships, but guess what, Aquarius? You don't look like what you've been through. You've been walking a tightrope for long enough. You don't look like what you've been through. You've still been coming up with great ideas. you got a smile on your face, and you know that you're protected, right? There's no reason for you to have any low vibration thoughts about yourself or either other people. Again, low vibration thoughts and feelings and even people, that kind of energy is falling out of range. Yes. We also have the three of pentacles. I'm seeing perfect synergy for you in the workplace if you work for somebody else. But if you don't, perfect synergy for you and your business. That's what I'm talking about as far as your money is concerned. I'm looking at financial independence for you, Aquarius. Like you wake up when you feel like waking up and start your work day. You take your lunch break because you're your own boss. This is what I'm seeing for you, Aquarius. We also have the king of wands. Again, there's a fire that's been lit in you. See, Leo, this right here, the sun sign, Leo being your polarity, you're tapped fully into the Leo in you. You don't, you don't, you're no longer going to dim your own light, right? See this lion, this is the symbol for Leo as well. So a lot of you all may have Leo in your chart, but again, you're, I see your business. This is how you coming at your business. You're like, you know what? I'm not backing down anymore. I got a fire inside of me. It's time for me to, it's go time for me. I'm an Aquarius. I'm the smartest sign in the Zodiac. I have no problems with showing my emotions whatsoever. I just don't want to be involved with anything or anybody who is trying to manipulate me using emotional tactics, right? Well, you don't love me anymore. You don't like me playing those kind of games that kind of stuff he's like no listen i'm focused like laser focused i'm a leader i'm a visionary yes i'm on fire right and here we have looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money so you could be looking for a new job you can be looking for other opportunities when it comes to money but nevertheless i see you being very happy in your organization right whether it's your organization that you created for yourself or in your new job or in your current job i see you being very 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 happy i see a lot of you all getting new jobs i do i see you getting new jobs whether it's the jobs that you created for yourself but i see you getting new jobs let's talk about the number eight for a second because it's a money exchange number the number eight is a visual representation of two windows with a window above giving a vision of the spiritual and the one below relating to the material right so the number eight represents making visions that's message from the spirit right um bringing them to earth and materializing them into goods that can be exchanged for money so eight represents the energy exchange for money eight is aligned with business right eight is aligned with business in that this vibration takes a vision that's spirit and creates a product or service that's matter puts it out into the world that's enterprise and in return receives payment for the product or service and so this one um is of the core of the spirit and human energy exchanges to life right so people a lot of people have issues with money but i want you to be delivered from that feelings of have those feelings of having issues with money aquarius because money is a form of energy it's used as a form of exchange goods and services right so if you want a particular life then you created aquarius the most most of the time people have issues with money it is because of this particular scripture, 1 Timothy 6 and 10, for the love of money is the root of all evil, right? But that only applies, that, that what it really translates to, what it really means is that when you put money, that energy over faith in God, in you, then you just forget that you can, you can create whatever you want to. Money is just a tool, right? So that's why it shouldn't matter to you if a person is, you know, um, traveling by jet, traveling by plane, driving, uh, traveling by Tesla, Hummer, whatever. Hey, that's something that they created for themselves, for their lives. By the same token, you should have a problem with somebody using their money that they created to build schools, to put in water filtration systems, to create a shelter, to create a beauty hair, a hair salon or barbershop or whatever. The bottom line or, or an HVAC business, whatever. The bottom line here, Aquarius, is that we need to all be delivered from the thought that money is evil. That scripture doesn't even say that money is evil. It says the love of money. It really is what it's saying putting money over the God in you. God in you can do anything. That's how God is omnipresent, omniscient, 
the whole nine yards, right? Because God is in all of us. Yes, right. There's tons of songs about money, tons and tons of tons of songs. So I want you all to let go of any low money mindset, right? So instead of like a des having desperation vibes, like how about, you know, try exuding knowledgeable, being capable and competent business person, right? When you see me post things on my Instagram page about businesses, that's me supporting other businesses, right? So go and look, see what other businesses are there. If you have a business and it doesn't have anything to do with what you see here on the table, but you want to promote your business or whatever, send me a text message. Just say, hey, queen, um, I got, I just started a business, whatever. I, su I have supported YouTube channels, <laughs> candle businesses. Matter of fact, this is one of my subscribers here, candle business. Writers, authors, here's one of the books for one of my subscribers. Listen, you create the life that you want. You don't have to work for somebody else nine to five for the rest of your life. You can create the life that you want. You can have multiple streams of income. And again, I'm not knocking nine to fivers at all. Hey, because some of you all work for some excellent organization with some great benefit packages, but also have start creating something that you want for yourself. So that you're not, so that money that you're making for somebody else in that organization is just gas money, play money, whatever. You're creating and having that sense of organization because guess what? That company that you're working for, Aquarius, somebody came up with that idea for that organization. So kudos to them for recognizing that, that they too are a God. A God is a creator. A God does not mean that you're somebody else's God, right? You serve the most high God, but you are a creator, Aquarius, right? Absolutely. So let's see what an oracle card, what oracle card has here for you. So I'm seeing a fresh new start for a lot of you. And I'm going to tell you, your life is getting ready to be changed just like that. I mean, literally just like that. When I see financial, that financial independence can come from anywhere. You can hit the lottery. Anything could happen. You can hit the lottery. Your business could all of a sudden go viral. The whole nine yards. Next thing you know, you have, you, you all of a sudden, again, because the portal is wide open for you all, Aquarius, because you're committed to it, right? Things are, you are starting to learn how to, to prioritize things unapologetically. You're not letting people tell you that, oh, you're, you don't care. You don't have any emotions. Of course you have emotions you cry you laugh right you feel things right everybody has emotions because the moon governs everybody's emotions you're not buying into that manipulative energy anymore where people are trying to pull in your heartstrings well you know okay this person is trying to play me but they just played themselves right beauty ritual that's what a lot of you all are going to just start doing focusing on and i'm talking about men too Focusing on nurturing yourselves, right? Like really, really, the 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 energy of money. Since because a lot of people have an issue with money, but you use that tool to pay your bills. You use that tool to pay for your kids' tuition for school. You use that tool for multitude of things, even to give money to the homeless community, to, to donate to other organizations, to volunteer, to get to and from wherever you need to get to. It is a tool. It is just a tool, right? How much of a tool really, really dep depends on what you speak into existence, right? So I see a lot of you all, instead of you all receiving an over abundance of unnecessary drama from people because remember your energy is balanced out you're only receiving things from most high god in the universe and listening to what um, information is being sent to you your spiritual gifts ideas about your business who to support when to support how long you're going to stay in somebody else's universe that kind of thing aquarius this is a great time for you to be an aquarius there should be no low vibration energy whatsoever the moment something low vibrational comes across your mind and i think i heard who did i hear say this online one time i want to say it was dinah raw she was saying um she said one time, she said, whenever she has a negative thought that comes across her mind, she immediately replaces it with something positive. So if you want to start, the ne if, if a negative self-thought comes across your mind, Aquarius, you want to immediately replace it something with something that you love about yourselves, right? You may not be where you want to be, 
but you're certainly not where you used to be, Aquarius. That's what you want to celebrate, okay? Because major things are happening in your lives right now. I see you all sailing away from a lot of unnecessary drama. So again, a lot of you all may be leaving jobs that you just know, okay? I'm not on the same frequency with anybody here. I don't even fit into the culture of this organization because they're so low vibration and so negative. So however the job ends, whether they terminate you or whether you decide I'm done, hey, rejoice because better is coming. Better is coming. I don't care if you started your business five, 10 years ago and it didn't do well. We were not in the age of Aquarius. We're in the age of Aquarius right now. So you have too many things in your favor already by default. Like I said, both of your ruling planets are retrograde right now. So your focus should be on your long-term goals, your ambitions, and also being, being adaptable to change because your life could change just like that. In a twinkling of an eye, your life could change. So get ready for more positive changes to come into your life more positive change and just get fixated on that some of you all have had so many negative things to happen in your lives aquarius that you you have almost been conditioned to be fixated on okay if something good happens i know something bad is going to happen no it's a mindset it's the energy you put out in the universe expect good things to happen your whole life just keep setting your intentions like i said i know you all are having a great day because that's the intention you set so even if you get a phone call that was designed to um, test you, test your good day. You just be grateful for the, the phone call that you receive and you release it into the universe and you just keep on moving forward and enjoy your life. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Continue having a great weekend. I know you will because that's the intention you set. Today is Saturday, but this is Sunday's reading. I wanted to upload it for you all early. That's what I have for you. Bye.